And with nearly 30 races this weekend, a lot of bets will be placed. And it doesn't hurt to know a little bit about what you're doing, right? So I wanted to bring in betting expert Pete Redundo, who's going to give us a little bit of tips. So first off, I'm talking about the average person here. Of course, not the expert better, but you don't know much. What do I look for? How do I decide? Well, I mean, listen, if you know how to read the racing form, you know, there's a whole lot of data in there. If you don't, it's okay. We have a first bet app. It's in the app store. You download it. It has, it literally gives you picks based on AI, which I know is a hot topic these days. And you look through that, um, or you could just pick a name or a color. But, you know, I think the, downloading the app is the key because it gives you this extra info. Okay, picking the name or the color is actually, I, I'm going to ask you about that because I'm curious about that. But first off, how do the odds work versus gut instinct? Right? Well, the odds are interesting. At the racetrack, the track wants you to win, right? All the money comes in a pool and gets spread back out to the to the public. They take their cut, uh, like 15, 20% of every dollar, right? Unlike a casino where it's you against the house. So we want, I know it sounds a little uh, catchy, but bottom line is we want you to win because the more you, the more you win, the more you bet. Mobile sports betting is obviously really big right now. What kind of effect is that having on in-person betting? Well, you know, it's interesting. Horse racing has been a mobile betting sport for 20 years. Um, we were the first first at it. So really no big deal for us. We like it, but the more the merrier. You can bet from home. Actually, like 85% of the bets now are on mobile devices. So we, we actually started that trend. So you talked about people, you know, picking a cool sounding name or whatever. I mean, how often does that actually work out for people? I'm always curious. <laughs> it works out a lot. You know, listen, it's... You know, I have a daughter, Rose, right? I'm going broke betting Rose horses these days. But, um, you know, it's, it's if you have an, someone in your family, whatever, it's the way it works. Like tomorrow in the Preakness, Blazing Sevens is the name of a horse. He's number seven. I mean, people are just going to bet that because of that. All right. I mean, of course, if you have a seven in a name, right. then you got to. And we've got the Black Eyed Season Stakes race coming up. Yeah, this is, this is, it just started a couple of minutes ago. All right, so thank you, Pete. I really appreciate it, and good luck to all the betters, I guess. You're welcome. Right? Thanks for having me. Okay, thank you.